Please be seated. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 23rd commencement ceremony for the University of Texas Hair Science Center at Houston, D. Bradley McWilliam School of Biomedical Informatics. I want to thank each of you for joining us to celebrate the graduates being recognized today. I'm Dean Jiajie Zhang. I'm honored to have you here. I would like to introduce individuals on the stage with me today. I ask that each person stand as he or she is introduced. Audience, please hold your applause until everyone has been introduced. John Damore, 2011 alumnus of the McWilliam School of Biomedical Informatics and president of Moore Informatics. Dr. Giuseppe Colosoto, president, UT Health Houston. Dr. Karen Morano, senior vice president of academic and faculty affairs, UT Health Houston. Dr. Jagat Narula, Executive Vice President and Chief Academic Officer, UT Health Houston. Mr. D. Bradley McWilliams, UT Health Houston Development Board Member. Dr. Lisa King, Associate Vice President for Faculty Affairs and Development. Dr. Amber Bernstein, Associate Dean for Research, McWilliams School of Biomedical Informatics. Dr. Susan Fenton, Associate Dean for Academic and Curricular Affairs, Williams, McWilliams School of Biomedical Informatics. Dr. Amy Franklin, Associate Dean for Student, Faculty, and Community Affairs, McWilliams School of Biomedical Informatics. Dr. Robert Murphy, Associate Dean for Applied Informatics, McWilliam School of Biomedical Informatics. Mr. Ryan Bing, Associate Dean for Management, McWilliam School of Biomedical Informatics. Please stand as Mr. Ryan Bing gives the invocation. Good afternoon. As we gather on this momentous day, understanding we have come from different places, hold different values, and cherish different beliefs, let us all remember we are united in gratitude. In a world where many cannot study, we are thankful for the achievements, degrees, and honors that we celebrate today. In a world where many have no future, we are thankful for the dreams, hopes, and plans that have been nourished within so many at this school. In a world where many have no community, we are thankful for the support of mentors, faculty, family, and friends in attendance today. When the ceremony concludes and we go on our different paths to different experiences and different destinations, may our gratitude always unite us in the desire of using all that we are and all that we have for the common good so that reasons to be thankful will fill each of us each day. Thank you. Please be seated. Thank you, Mr. Bing. Welcome, students, families, friends, faculty, staff, and special guests. Thank you for joining us today as we celebrate the achievements of our current graduating class. Warmest congratulations to our students and faculty on a job well done. And to your families and friends, I offer my sympathy 
and appreciation for your forbearance and support. Notwithstanding the joy and energy in this room and the thoughts of the amazing contributions that will be made in consequence of this milestone, our students are not the sole cause of celebration this afternoon. As many of you already know, recently the school was acknowledged with a transformational gift that will sustain and facilitate its transition to ever greater accomplishments in the future. In this regard, I want to recognize a very special guest and a dear friend of school who is with us today, Mr. D. Bradley McWilliams, a longtime development board member and an extraordinary supporter of UT Health Houston. With greatest pleasure, I'm proud to reiterate our announcement that the UT Health Houston School of Biomedical Informatics is now named the D. Bradley McWilliams School of Biomedical Informatics at UT Health Houston. I want to express our immense heartfelt gratitude to Mr. McWilliams for fostering the evolution of our school. As we employ data science and AI, clinical and health informatics, and bioinformatics and assistive medicine to improve patient care, advance biomedical discovery, and transform disease prevention. Together, we will continue to build a school that is a beacon to informatics programs across the world. Today, I'm reminded of how perfectly timed this gift is. We stand at the cusp of a ChatGPT-inspired artificial intelligence revolution that is liberating people from cognitive labor and transforming the way we approach healthcare. As we often say, data is the new oil. Today, artificial intelligence is the new engine that is transforming data to power human health. Brad, we are truly grateful for your visionary and historic support of our school. We are honored to carry your legacy for generations to come. If you will, ladies and gentlemen, Please join me in saluting our visionary champion, Mr. D. Bradley McWilliams. Thank you, Brad. It has been four years since we hosted a commencement ceremony like this one. In 2020, we pivoted to a recorded virtual ceremony. And in 2021 and 2022, we celebrated joint ceremonies with UT House Houston Sister Schools. This year, we have returned to the intimacy of a commencement ceremony and a venue that are specific to McWilliams School of Biomedical Informatics. And as added bonus, we are reporting a nearly 50%, 5-0, increase of degrees conferred this year in comparison with last year. More specifically, during this year, the school awarded 10 Doctor of Philosophy degrees, six Doctorate in Health Informatics degrees, and 82 Master of Science degrees. In addition, 32 students received graduate certificates. A good number of our students are with us, we are with us today, 
as we celebrate your achievements. Please remember that in continuing your unique academic and professional journeys, the colleagues, friendships, and collaborative networks you have forged at McWilliams School of Biomedical Informatics and at UT Health Houston are lifelong, so stay in touch. As another commencement highlight, each year we recruit new faculty to advance its education and research missions, and 2023 is no exception. In just a few weeks, Dr. Hongfang Niu, who is presently a full professor of biomedical informatics at Mayo Clinic, where she directs the biomedical informatics program at Mayo Clinic, and it is and is a comprehensive cancer center. In February, Dr. Liu was awarded a six million grant by the Cancer Prevention and Research Institute of Texas. Among many other objectives, she will employ the funding to realize her ambitious, far-reaching project, which aims to accelerate real-world data-driven precision oncology through the use of longitudinal patient records and artificial intelligence. We look forward to Dr. Liu's arrival and her contribution to UT Health. Next, in an ongoing effort to acknowledge individual faculty for exceptional performance in research, teaching, innovation, and service, I launched the Dean's Excellence Awards in 2019. Today, I want to once again recognize the faculty who were originally honored in December of 2022 at our Staff and Faculty Excellence Award launching. Professor Xiaoqian Zhang, Outstanding Faculty Award. Associate Professor Tiffany Champagne Langbeer, Teaching Award. Professor Zhongming Zhao, Research Award. Professor James Langbeer, Innovation Award. Assistant Professor Devakar Rogas, Outstanding Service Award. Please join me in congratulating all these awardees. As you can see, we have so many incredible things taking place here at the school. And I'm proud to serve as dean as we author in new and inspiring opportunities. But it's important to know that long love it would be possible without the hard work of our faculty and staff, the brilliance of our students, and the collaboration we all engage in each and every day. As the graduates in front of me embark on the next steps in their lives and careers, I cannot thank them enough for their contributions to this school. Thank you. Now I would like to continue our ceremony as I introduce Associate Dean for Applied Informatics, Dr. Robert Murphy. He will present the John P. McGovern Outstanding Teacher Award. Thank you, Dean Zhang, and good afternoon, everyone. As the 2022 winner of the esteemed award, I am very proud to introduce the John P. McGovern Outstanding Teacher Award winner for 2023. This award is presented each academic year to an educator from each of the University of Texas Health Science Center at Houston Component Schools. The faculty member who earns this award embodies excellence in teaching. In submitting their nominations, students are asked to evaluate each faculty member on the following criteria. Excellence in teaching based on knowledge of the subject matter, an interest and enthusiasm for teaching, understanding of students' responsiveness to students' inquiries, and encouragement of independent thinking. 
And finally, accessibility to our students. I am very proud to announce the winner of the 2023 John P. McGovern Outstanding Teacher Award for the McWilliams School of Biomedical Informatics is Dr. Tiffany Champagne Langebeer. This is the third time winning this award in the past five years. Congratulations, Dr. Langenberg, and you've got 55 faculty who will be gunning for you next year, okay? <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. thank you so much, Dr. Murphy, and thank you, students. It's really, uh, I'm here because of you, obviously. I have this practice every morning I wake up and I think of things that I'm grateful for. And today, my heart was full, and I'm so grateful for all of you, so very grateful. During this time, I'm looking out at faces that some of you, we've worked together for six years, some of you, seven years. There's been babies born, marriages had, all different kinds of things, and I've been so honored to share in not only this major milestone for you, but in your life as well. So thank you so much. Again, I congratulate Dr. Champagne Langebeer, and now I'd like to interview, in, invite the Associate Dean for Research, Dr. Elmer Bernstam, to the podium to announce the Paul C. Boyle Award for Excellence in Student Research Award winners. Thank you so much, Dr. Murphy. Uh, welcome. Uh, the Paul C. Boyle Award for Excellence in Student Research is given to an individual or first author in student informatics research a judging panel composed of alumni, advisory council members, students, or faculty determine the winner as these individuals judge poster session projects during each spring and fall semester of our academic year. The recipients of the Paul C. Boyle Award for, Ex uh, for Excellence in Student Research for the fall 2022 semester were PhD, uh, PhD student Anjita Kabir and MS graduate Kush Patel. Let's give these two winners a round of applause. I want to also recognize the Spring 2023 Paul C. Boyle Award for Excellence in Student Research winner, PhD, uh, PhD student Alan Pan. This student's poster was presented just last week, and it was titled Utilization of Multimodal Data Sources for Stroke Outcomes Research, Integration of EMR and Claims Information for Observational Analysis. Join me in congratulating this award winner. This time, I'd like to invite back Dr. Dean Zhang, uh, I'm sorry, Dean Zhang, to return to the podium to present our next award. At this time, it's my great pleasure to announce the recipient of our school's 2023 Distinguished Alumni Award. By way of background, the McWilliam School of Biomedical Informatics Alumni Association was established as an important arm of our school's mission and vision. In practical terms, one of the association's central objectives is to forge a link between our rapidly growing alumni population and our current student body by providing a an, uh, strong support network as well as foundational elements that are increasingly rare and important in this technology-driven era, a strong sense of tradition and community. Every individual in our school's graduating classes become a member of the McWilliams School of Biomedical Informatics Alumni Association. Inherent in this membership are service expectations, paying it forward, if you will, because all graduates stand on the shoulders of those who came before. As a member of our alumni association, you are inextricably woven into the fabric 
of our school and university. As such, you are part of a proud and a noble tradition. To wit, you are an ambassador for our school and a proponent for the field of biomedical informatics. Our 2023 Distinguished Alumni Award recipient is an exemplar among his fellow alumni. At Harvard University, where he received an undergraduate degree in biochemistry, and at McWilliam School of Biomedical Informatics, where he earned his master's degree in 2011. During his graduate training at our school, he, he served as director of decision support at Mama Herman. Subsequently, he was vice president of enterprise performance management at Eclipsis, which is now Oscrips. A thought leader and a successful entrepreneur in the fields of clinical informatics and data standards, our 2023 Distinguished Alarm is currently president of Moore Informatics, a company focused on standards development and health IT initiatives. Previously, he was founder and president of Diameter Health, a firm that aids clients in harnessing the power of bi-directional data intelligence to reduce cost, improve care quality, and drive innovation. At Diameter's, uh, as Diameter's founder, he wrote the original code and grew the company from a small startup to a firm with large national contracts and 100 employees with an infusion of 30 million in venture capital. Diameter Health was acquired by Avidity in August of 2022, allowing him to focus on his new venture, more informatics. His research, which began as part of his master's work at the McWilliam School of Biomedical Informatics, has been cited in federal regulations promoting health information technology adoption under the same as Meaningful Use program. Other contributions include profiling EHR data quality issues that impede interoperability and highlighting opportunities to improve patient outcomes and population health. He led an industry research collaborative through the Veterans Administration to document interoperability challenges, which won a Distinguished Paper Award at the 2018 Symposium of the American Medical Informatics Association. He received the 2021 Volunteer of the Year Award from HL7, and he serves as technical advisor and editor for various organizations focused on clinical data exchange and quality measures. Finally, he is adjunct professor at Boston University in their informatics program. He currently lives in Versailles, Massachusetts. As many of you have not guessed, the McWilliam School of Biomedical Informatics 2023 Distinguished Alumni Award will be accorded to Mr. John Demore. So we have a surprise, John Moore, right? <laughs> so John, uh, thanks, thanks for all you do, and our warmest gratitude to you for establishing a scholarship fund at McVenham School of Biomedical Informatics. Could you come to the podium to say a few words? Oh, well, th thank you. I wasn't expecting the award um, for it. Obviously excited to be here today and to speak to now uh, soon-to-be alumni uh, for the McWilliams School of Biomedical Informatics. I'm honored to receive this and to think about how we can each make contributions back to the informatics and interoperability community.
Thank you. Stay here for a minute. Um, thank you, John. And now it's my pleasure to introduce today's commencement speaker. Who just received this year's Distinguished Alumni Award, John Demore. So, this is a great example. I hope many of you will receive the same treatment. I'm here to wait for you. All right? So, please uh, join me to welcome John Demore. Well, that spoiled a little bit of my speech. Uh, for her. Uh, 12 years ago, I was seated where you are. I'd been working in healthcare for about a decade at Memorial Hermann. I'd seen the opportunity to use data to improve care. I'd worked with Dr. Shabbat, uh, Dr. Murphy, uh, and several of the other faculty to implement informatic systems at Memorial Hermann that could bring teams together and help make things a little bit better. And this led to my inspiration to, get research, to do research and to get my graduate degree here at the McWilliams School of Biomedical Informatics. My research, questions, my research asked simple questions. How can data standards improve care? Will that data be high quality? Will interoperability really work? To answer those, I ended up on a sprawling quest. How could I collect real-world data samples? How could I learn what EHR vendors were doing? And how could I see what healthcare providers were doing today to facilitate data exchange? Eventually, I, became, I began working directly with standards developers. I became involved with Health Level 7, which is the leading standards development organization for clinical data standards. They first pulled me in as a volunteer, and then I became an editor on those standards, including the Consolidated Clinical Document Architecture, or as you may know, CCDA, and now today working as an editor on the FAST Healthcare Interoperability Standards, or, um, or FIRE uh, standards work on. I actually flew in uh, today from New Orleans where they're having the HL7 Working Group meeting this week. Asking simple questions is powerful. When I didn't like the answers that I got, I got motivated to make change. That motivation led to a few hundred lines of code at first. That code and research eventually led to a company. That company, Diameter Health, ended up raising $30 million in venture capital and hiring over 100 people, some of the best informatics talent and minds that I could find. Last year, Diameter Health was acquired by Availity a leading real-time network for health data exchange and billing, processing nearly a trillion dollars in healthcare payments annually in the United States. So that's a little bit about me, a little bit of my background, but why am I here today? I'm here to tell you things that you already know and perhaps a joke. Let me start with the former. This place is special. You are special. What is happening at the UT Houston McWilliams School of Biomedical Informatics is special. We've all marveled at the advancements of machine learning and artificial intelligence in the past year. But I am more interested in the natural intelligence sitting in front of me today. You and the neural nets at the top of your spines will transform healthcare more in the coming decades than it has transformed in the past century. You will find ways to improve care and to avoid patient harm. You will discover better means to integrate clinical evidence into workflow. You will develop applications and analytics to disrupt healthcare, making it both cheaper, faster, and higher quality. And you will do this not just for the best healthcare systems, not just for the best physicians or clinicians. You will do this for all of us. It will touch us all here in Texas, the United States, and globally. The stage is set for your next level 
of contribution and accomplishment. Literally, I'm standing on a stage and you're going to take steps across it today at your commencement. So let's think about that word together. Commencement. Commence. Oh, that's pretty easy. That means to start. We are starting something today. Okay, that sounds right. Mint. Huh. I think that that minting is the act of printing money. So I'd like to welcome you to the start of making money in your careers. <laughs> but joking aside, your careers, for many of which you've already begun, doctors, nurses, computer scientists, engineers, they're already underway, and they're about more than making money. Informatics is a profession that demands much of us because it affects the essence of how we live. Without health, there can be no wealth. Frankly, when your health is poor, the core of our humanity is reduced to the management of illness. The clinicians who help us regain and retain well-being are fundamental to society, but they are also fundamentally information processors. As you've learned here in your studies, the models for how we diagnose, prioritize information, rationalize information, are not easily explicable or transparent. Our minds and the minds of clinicians are not linear. Our thoughts are complex and our neural nets are convoluted. Despite that, our purpose is clear. We as informatics professionals seek to improve health through better data and information. This might be the last commencement in your career. Frankly, it might be the last commencement speech that ever that isn't written by chat GPT. <laughs> if either of those are correct, then let me end with a few pieces of advice which you already know to be true. Ask questions and keep asking questions until you have answers. It can be uncomfortable. We spend 20% of every dollar in the United States on health care, and what we have is far from optimum. We will need you to drive that improvement. Look to your left. So this way, look to your right. Look in that person's eyes, shake that person's hand, say hello. Realize that we are more powerful working together than we are alone. That's one thing that I learned working and starting a company and bringing together 100 people is that you can make incredible change working together. But also acknowledge that change does not require the universal acceptance of large crowds. There is truth in this quote. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed individuals can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. In closing, believe in yourself. This place is special. You are special. The interdisciplinary training that you've received here will not give you all the answers to everything that you will confront in your careers as informatics professionals but you are better prepared and more qualified than anyone else to solve healthcare's most stubborn challenges and problems. So thank you to Dean Zhang, thank you to the um, Brad, thank you to the faculty for inviting me here to speak today. Thank you for your time and attention. Congratulations on your, um, on your commencement and for receiving your degrees this year. Okay, since John mentioned uh, the distinction between natural and in artificial intelligence, right? <laughs> Let me ask a question. Which part of my speech was written by machine? <laughs> if you cannot tell, we are together, okay? Okay, again, I want to express, extend my gratitude to Mr. Demore for joining us this afternoon, and congratulations again for the Distinguished Alumni Award. We appreciate
both your time and inspiring words. We will now recognize our 2022-2023 graduates. I would like to ask our candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Biomedical Informatics, candidates for the degree of Doctorate in Health Informatics, and candidates for the degree of Master of Science in Biomedical Informatics at the University of Texas, Hair Science Center Houston, D. Bradley McWilliams School of Biomedical Informatics to please rise. President Cardozo, on behalf of the faculty of the University of Texas Health Science Center at Houston, D. Bradley McWilliams School of Biomedical Informatics, it is my pleasure to certify to you that the graduates who stand before you have successfully completed all academic requirements for either the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Biomedical Informatics the degree of doctorate in health informatics, or the degree of master of science in biomedical informatics, respectively. Thank you, Din Sheng. By virtue of the authority vested by the state of the Texas Board of Regents of the University of Texas system and delegated by them to me, I now confer upon each of you the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Biomedical Informatics, the degree of Doctor in Health Informatics, and the degree of Master of Sciences in Biomedical Informatics, for which you have been recommended with all rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereunto. Congratulations to all of you. We will now have Dr. Amy Franklin come to the podium. She will call each of the graduates for us to be recognized. Good afternoon, everyone. I am honored to begin by recognizing the graduates of our Doctor of Philosophy in Biomedical Informatics programs. Will the graduates please come forward as your name is called? Will the advisors for Shurabi Doto please come to the stage? Shurabi Doto, committee chair, Dr. Kirk Roberts, committee members, Dr. Elmer Bernstam, Dr. Luca Giancardo, Dr. Hua Xu. Dissertation title, Spatial Information Extraction from Radiology Reports. Will the faculty advisors for Xiao Li please come to the stage? Xiao Li, committee chair, Dr. W. Jim Zhang, committee members, Dr. Zhao Chin Zheng and Dr. Hua Xu. Dissertation title, Cancer Risk Prediction and Interpretation from Electronic Health Records.
Will the faculty advisors for Carlos Perez Aldana please come to the stage. Carlos Perez Aldana. <laughs> Committee Chair, Dr. Tiffany Champagne Langabeer. Committee members, Dr. Susan Fenton and Dr. Sahidi Mainani. Dissertation title, Social Network Analysis of Online Support Communities for Adolescent and Young Adult Cancer Survivors. <laughs> Will the faculty advisors for Nina Smith please come forward? Nina Smith. <laughs> Committee Chair, Dr. Tiffany Champagne Langabeer. Committee members, Dr. Susan Fenton, Dr. Deborah Simmons, and Dr. J. Douglas Thornton. Dissertation title. Proposing a conceptual model of the unattended consequences of health information technology policy. Will the faculty advisors for Servesh Shoni please come to the stage? Servesh Shoni. <laughs> Committee Chair, Dr. Kirk Roberts. Committee members, Dr. Peter Kaloran and Dr. Wa Zhu. Dissertation title. Question answering with electronic health records. <laughs> Will the faculty advisors for Ying Cheng Tang please come to the stage? Yi Ching Tang. Committee Chair, Dr. Asaf Gottlieb. Committee members, Dr. Jeffrey T. Chang. Dr. Zhao Chin Zheng and Dr. Deg Weizi. Dissertation title, Utilizing Molecular Pathways to Provide Generalizable, Explainable, and Translatable Models from Cancer Drug Response Prediction. Will the faculty advisors for Jing Chi Wang please come to the stage? Jing Chi Wang. Committee Chair, Dr. Shui Tao. Committee members, Dr. Kirk Roberts and Dr. Deg Weizi. Dissertation title. Disease Concept Normalization for Clinical Documents Using Deep Learning and Knowledge Graphs. <laughs> Will the faculty advisors for Sue Wong please come to the stage?
Sue Wong, Committee Chair, Dr. Arif Harmansi, Committee Members, Dr. W. Jim Zhang, and Dr. Deg Wei Ji. Dissertation title, Development of Enabling Technologies for Genomic Analysis. Congratulations. Will the faculty advisors for Fang Fang Yan please come to the stage? I'm going to need some help. Committee Chair, Dr. Zhang Min Zhao. Uh, committee Members, Dr. Arif Harmansi, Dr. Hang Yu Miao, and Dr. Lucas Simon. Dissertation title, Informatics Approaches for Capturing Dynamic Gene Expression and Regulation. So sorry. Will faculty advisors for our final PhD graduate, Alexandra Zing, please come to the stage? Alexandra Zing, committee chair, Dr. Sahidi Mainini, committee members, Dr. Amy Franklin and Dr. Angela Ross. Dissertation title, Leveraging Digital Technologies for Management of Peripartum Depression to Mitigate Health Disparities. I will now recognize the doctorate in health informatics graduates and ask that each person come forward as your name is called. Will the faculty advisors for Monica Coley please come to the stage. Monica Coley, committee chair, Dr. Deborah Simmons. Committee members, Dr. Tiffany champagne Langebeer, Dr. John Glazer, and Dr. Angela Ross. Translational project, implementing clinical decision support aimed at reducing co-prescribing of opioids and benzodiazepines at Adventist Healthcare Maryland. Will the faculty advisors for Kathleen De Figueredo please come to the stage? <laughs> Kathleen De Figueredo, committee chair, Dr. Robert Murphy. Committee members, Dr. Deborah Simmons and Dr. Angela Ross. Translational project title, virtual patient family communication in the acute care setting. Will the faculty advisors for James Harris please come to the stage? James Harris, 
Committee Chair, Dr. Deborah Simmons. Committee Members, Dr. Zhao Chen Zheng and Dr. Kimberly Smith. Translational Project Title, Exploring the Use of Bidirectional Text Messaging Reminders to Increase Colorectal Cancer Screening Rates in Patients Prescribed Cologuard. Will the faculty advisors for Angela Hayes please come to the stage? Angela Hayes. <laughs> Committee Chair, Dr. Susan Fenton. Committee Members, Dr. Amy Franklin and Dr. Christopher Greeley. Translational project title, Usability and Technology Acceptance of an Electronic Child Abuse Screening Tool in Pediatric Emergency Department. Will the faculty advisors for Peter Kizza please come to the stage? Peter Kizza, committee chair, Dr. Angela Ross. Committee members, Dr. Tiffany Champagne Langabeer, Dr. Deborah Simmons. Translational project title, Implementation of Telemedicine to Reduce No-Shows for Primary Care Patients. And for our final DHI graduate, Stacy Wheel, will her faculty advisors please come to the stage? Stacy Wheel. <laughs> Committee Chair, Dr. Angela Ross. Committee Members, Dr. Amy Franklin and Dr. Michael Wilkinson. Translational project title, Visualization Literacy and Decision Making in Healthcare. to acknowledge our Master of Science in Biomedical Informatics graduates. Will each master's graduate please come forward as his or her name is called. Banan Abu Harb. Congratulations. Priscilla Acevedo. Allah Jarash. Congratulations. <laughs> Ala 
Alejandro Araya. Noel Arends. Congratulations. Emily Brown Belushi. Pradumna Brumanadam. Deepa Deepak Chahaldri. Jing Han Chen. Hanya the elderly. Chiamaka Sylvia Diala. I love your food section. Pragna Gadamedi. Mercedes Virginia Gonzalez. Alfredo Gutierrez. Rachel Leah Hartley.
Jennifer Hooper. Mehmet Inez Inam. <laughs> Danielle Cato. Thank you for everything. Maron Kathyalu. Christopher Lee. Jonathan Mello. <laughs> Way to bring the crowd. Congratulations. Sunita Mogala. Miriam Motashamian. Chinmay Mokashi. Annette Dixon Mulke. <laughs> Chung Wei Ang. Congratulations. James Ray Noriega.
Nelly Wosu. Vina Rajmani. Major Leopoldo Rivas of the United States Army. Jessica Lynn Root. <laughs> and she's beautiful. <laughs> Hector Adrian Sanchez Mancias. <laughs> Congratulations. Kayla Tatarin. Tanya Naima Thompson. <laughs> We've got to escape. Mark Angelo Veloso. Congratulations. Terrell Williams. Zamora. So please join me in giving a round of applause to all of our graduates who are here today and those who could not join us. We congratulate their dedication, hard work, and accomplishments. Please be seated. Graduates, you may now move your tassel from the right to the left. Congratulations.
Congratulations on earning your degree from the D. Bradley McWilliams School of Biomedical Informatics at UT Health Houston. Please give our graduates a lot of round of applause. At this time, I would like to ask all McWilliam School of Biomedical Informatics faculty and adjunct faculty to rise. We thank each of you for your dedication to educating our new class of graduates. I would like to invite all family members and friends of our graduates to stand. Our graduates would not be where they are today without your support, guidance, and love. While you are not walking the stage today, we want to recognize you for your contributions. I want to thank the special guests who have joined us today. Mr. Gamore, Mr. McWilliams, Dr. Colasota, Dr. Lareda, Dr. Marano, and Dr. King. We truly appreciate your participation in today's commencement ceremony. I want to also thank the staff of the McWilliams School of Biomedical Informatics you have worked so hard to make this ceremony a success. And to our students and alumni, without you, we would not be here to celebrate this happy occasion. And we want to recognize you as well. So this concludes our commencement ceremony. And we invite everyone to join us for the reception just outside the concert hall.